Hello again and welcome to another 5-Minute Fly the Wing Flight Maneuver video. This month we're covering the new maneuver that was added in 2012 to the Private Pilot Practical Test Standards, the Emergency Descent. Now the scenario is that we have a wing fire, cockpit smoke, or a bird strike and we need to get the plane down now. Like all maneuvers and landings we practice, always refer to your airplane's POH to see what the manufacturer recommends. Now there are two options in getting the plane down, high speed or low speed. In the case of high speed, we descend it just below redline, VNE, with flaps and gear up. Or in the case of low speed, we deploy full flaps and gear and stay at or below maximum operating speeds for flaps or gear. In either case, we want to be sure we don't exceed the airframe, gear, and flap operating limitations. Power comes back to idle, and in the case of a constant speed prop, we advance that to low pitch to create more drag. Drag is good. It helps us get the plane down more quickly as long as we don't exceed limitations. So for today, bring power to idle, prop to high RPM, and drop full flaps once we're below 100 knots. That's our VFE speed. Next, we roll into a 30 to 45 degree bank, which allows us to drop the nose more quickly without producing a negative G-load. We'll use this steep turn to check for traffic as we begin the maneuver, and if we're directly over an airport, we can even plan our descent to end up downwind at about 1,000 feet AGL and then land. Otherwise, we'll call off the maneuver no lower than 500 feet AGL. Well, those are the basics of the emergency descent, so let's go out now and give it a try in the airplane. We're out here in the Skyline today demonstrating the emergency descent maneuver. First thing we're going to do is bring power back to idle. When we get into the white arc, we start to drop the flaps and we're going for full flaps, low airspeed descent. I'm going to roll into a steep bank turn about 45 degrees, use this turn to look for traffic, and that high load factor is going to allow me to drop the nose without creating a negative G-force. I want to remain positive G's at all times. VFE in this airplane is 100 knots. I'm going to aim for that and descend. We're going almost 1,500 feet per minute now. This is a great way to get the plane down quickly. I could also slip the plane if I wanted. That uncoordinated slip is going to create more drag and allow us to get down even faster. Now I'm doing about 1,800 feet per minute and I've got my 100. I don't want to exceed that because I don't want to overstress the plane at any point in the maneuver. You're not necessarily going to do the maneuver all the way to the ground or even to 500 feet or even land. After demonstrating it successfully as I have, your instructor or examiner may ask you to resume cruise flight. So level the wings, bring in some power, begin to bring the flaps up and level off, resume cruise flight. That's the emergency descent maneuver. The PTS standards for the emergency descent are rather broad. There are no specific airspeed, altitude, or heading parameters. After all, this is more a maneuver that requires good judgment and decision making. You should know ahead of time the elements of the emergency descent maneuver and airplane limitations and then exhibit good orientation, division of attention, and proper planning in executing the maneuver. You also want to maintain positive load factors during the descent. If you have a feeling of weightlessness during the maneuver, well, that's a negative g-force and you don't want that. If there's a checklist for your airplane regarding an emergency descent, be sure you consult it at some point while demonstrating the maneuver. You may never need to do this procedure for real, but if you ever make a last-minute decision to divert to an airport that's right under you or you arrive at your destination because SoCal kept you too high too long, well, it's good to know how to get the airplane down lower in the safest, quickest manner possible. Go out and practice in your airplane, have fun, fly safely, and I'll see you again next month for another 5-Minute Fly the Wing Flight Maneuver video.